And we love seeing Team PTL all together like that. And by the way, Mikey, we did not leave her out. Uh -uh. She is back in the studio with Ron, and you can see both of them on the best of PTL of the week, and that is streaming this weekend on CBS News Pittsburgh. It's always a fun thing to show people over it the weekend is. when we can't be on the air with you. But our newest team member, Daisy Jade, is taking in her first home and garden show with us, and we gave her a challenge. Find something that doesn't necessarily have to do with your home right. or food, because we've been covering that. Yeah, and guess what? Challenge accepted. Yeah, it looks like she is out in the lobby area of the convention center right now, and she has found something that is both colorful and captivating and really pretty amazing, Daisy. I know, challenge accepted, guys. And even though you're coming to the Home and Garden Show, there's so many other things to check out. And I'm actually here with Krista, who's with Steel City Lug, which stands for LEGO, uh, Lego users, users Group. group. Yep. <laughs> and so I know that um, there's so many people in the Pittsburgh area that love Legos, yes. and we are seeing a beautiful display oh, here. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we have a number of really awesome things here. Um, I definitely want to point out our Fern Hollow Bridge rescue. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's on everybody's mind. It's so uh, newsworthy. <laughs> yes. Yes, definitely. And down here, we see some other um, cool construction right. items. Right. We have a number of members in the club who have a bunch of different interests. So we have things from construction to creative builds to artwork to trains. We have a little bit of everything. Well, I know I see the um, Bobo Fett, which is a popular, you know, pop culture item, yes. Yes. as well as this super cute, like, beach scene, which is we, making us all think of warm weather, oh, right? Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. And there's a lot of cool, intricate details look in here that. that you could sit here and look at this for hours and still find something new. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute. Now, I know this is something that you've worked on, which is basically <laughs> works of art. Yes. I mean, this, this Pac-Man series right here, if you look at it in one direction, it's one color. And then if you come on this other side, it's a completely different picture. Right. I love that. Right. That's a lenticular, and that took me two years to put together. But I love the artwork, the mosaics. Oh, my gosh. And, of gosh. course, you know, had to throw some pens in there as well. Yes, I love it. And then, of course, we have our Pittsburgh yes. scene. Yes, <laughs> And here we are right here. Here's KDK Studios and the convention centers over in that area. I yeah. absolutely love this. Now, really quickly, I just sure. want to know, I, I know that um, this isn't necessarily a set that came. You guys no. just have to kind of pick pieces and build it. We do, we do. All the things that you see are built with standard Lego pieces that you can buy. Um, we just have some very creative people who wow. really kind of have the eye for kind of putting things together. This here is micro scale. Um, then we I have the it. big things and our, you know, our architecture and things like that. It's just creative people all well, around. Well, thank you so much, Chris. So we're going to go over here yep. and check out. There's even more Legos, and I know this is actually a train section as well. And look at how cute these details are. I mean, we've got different winter villages and cute little elves in the background. And, of course, this beautiful train set. Super cool. Well, as you can see, so many fun things to check out. It's very colorful, very fun. Anything that even adults and kids can enjoy. So, you know, I think when you guys come down to the Home and Garden Show, you'll be very pleased. Oh, Daisy, you know what? I get lost in those kind of displays. I know. Little miniature stuff. And I remember as a kid, I would try to build a Disney World in my parents' basement. It never worked out. With Legos. Well, with Legos and other things, yeah. But the Lego stuff, the Legos of it's Pittsburgh. It's so impressive. It's so impressive. Yeah, really, really cool. talented. And I think that you all got that because they said it in unison at the beginning. But it's Lego user, <laughs> user group, group lug. And the Pittsburgh club gets together the same way a book club would. You know, but instead of turning pages, they're building little creations. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? And you get to see what they create. And they also teach kids, too. So if you're interested in maybe doing something together as a, you know, team with your kids, you can bring them in. Yeah, Legos. So fun. Yeah, it really is.